Hello, this is Jen from Newton's Nook Designs, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit in depth about our new June products. This month we have a fun release jam-packed with summer stuff. So we've got palm trees, flamingos, a uh, kitty flying a kite, a dog at the park, uh, some cars with surfboards, so all kinds of fun stuff uh, with a summer theme. And what I'm going to do is walk through each of these sets and I'll tell you a little bit about it and then I will also show you a project created with it. So let's start things out with our beach bound stamp set. This one includes four cars loaded up with beach goodies. So we've got surfboards, um, some luggage, and a beach ball, and things like that. So you're ready to take your beach vacation on this set. Uh, we've got sentiments on this special delivery of Sun and Fun, Hang 10, Happy Surf Day, which would be great for substituting for Happy Birthday, Riding into Another Year, Have a Swell Day, surfs up and sending you loads of sunshine. And there is of course a coordinating die set available if you liked the dies. Um, and this set, it would be great for birthday cards or sending a summer greeting to someone. I've created a fun birthday card here and this is a slimline card. Um, this card features three of the vehicles from the set and a couple of the sentiments. And to make it into a slimline card, I also use our slimline frames and windows for this white stitched border. And I used our slimline frames and portholes for the scalloped edge. And those two die sets um, are not new, but they're great for doing slimline cards if you like to do that. And they're designed so they can work together. So even though I'd use two sets, they fit perfectly together. Um, and what I did is just used Distress Inks and made an ombre from yellow to blue and then just put the cars on top with a little bit of pop-up adhesive and a couple sentiments. So that's a quick and easy birthday card for someone who likes the beach. Next, I'm going to show you our new paper pad. We've been doing paper pads. I know a lot of you have been really enjoying these. Uh, this particular one has a summer theme. It's called Summertime and you get 24 sheets of 6x6 six six paper and they're double-sided so there's actually 12 different designs and you get two of each. So this one has, um, we've got palm trees, flamingos, flip-flops, watermelon, kites, seashells, those same cars that were in the beach bound stamp set, um, some hibiscus, beach balls, ice cream, of course you have to have that for summer, pineapples, and then we're back to the first one. So you get two of each and then on the back side we have some of the simpler patterns but still beach themed stripes and seashells and, and things like that. So a lot of really fun colorful patterns for summer. And to create a card using a whole bunch of them together, I created this card and I put, picked some of my favorite patterns and then cut squares that would fit on an A2 size card and then I cut them in half so that way you get to see both sides and then just kind of arranged them in this shape until I liked this arrangement and then glued them down. Um, so that's again, a, once you figure out the measurements, a really quick and simple card to make. And then I added a couple of clouds using our Sky Scene Builder die set. And the words Hello Summer are actually from the Seashell Roundabout stamp set. And this little stitched um, banner here is from our A7 Frames and Banners die. And that's just a perfect little spot to hold the sentiment in the center of the card. So that's just a fun, quick summer card, just using paper pretty much and one little sentiment. Next we have our palm tree line stencil. Now this, if you follow us, last month we did um, just a regular tree line stencil and so we thought it would be fun to create another one with palm trees this time. So this is a, has three rows. So we've got the tops of the trees, the bottoms of the trees, or the trunks, and then this part has some details. So like the centers of the leaves and then details for the trunks. 
and if you can see um, they have an etching on them so you can easily line up when you're using the set so it doesn't matter if you want to do the tops first or the bottoms first you can line up the next row um, and with that one I made this really fun birthday card and in this case I just used the solid tops and then the detail from the trunks and combined this stencil that way. So there's lots of options on how you could combine those three layers as well. And then I used our hills and grass stencil to make a hill, like a sandy hill here. And then I just masked off in, the, in two steps. I did the water and the sky. And I also used our circle frames die to make a circle mask to mask off a yellow sun. And then the happy birthday sentiment is from our birthday essentials stamp set. And the postage edge is from our framework die set. And I just thought that kind of had a fun, almost a post postcard looking feel to it. So that's a really great stenciled card for a birthday. And it actually was qu pretty quick and easy to do as well. Next we have our Flamingo Oval stamp. So this is a four by eight stamp, so it's really big. You get a lot of, of stamps in here. Um, this stamp is an oval and it does fit with the oval frames die. So you can put this inside the scalloped edge oval. Or if you wanted it a little smaller, you could also fit it in this just stitched oval. And then this larger oval is great for framing it. So we have lots of options on how to mix and match the ovals with this stamp. Um, and this oval set also has a Mother's Day version with flowers in it available too. So this is our second in the line of oval products. And then this flamingo one is perfect for fun summer cards. We've got all these fun flamingos in an oval, so they are really fun to color. And then we've got all these sentiments that can fit inside. You can either put them horizontally or you can turn it and put them this way. They will fit either direction. We've got tickled pink and you could pair tickled pink with tickled pink on your birthday or tickled pink about the good news. So that's kind of a fun way you can combo those. Um, you could simply put hello summer. Uh, thanks for being so flamazing. That's just a fun play on the word flamingo. Uh, so glad you're part of my flock. And flamingo for it. So lots of fun options for fun summer cards on there. And what I created with this one is actually a large 5x7 card. So this uses our um, E7 frames and banners die, which is perfectly sized for making a larger 5x7 card. And then I use the flamingos in the center. I embossed them in white on a piece of light pink paper. And I actually colored on the pink paper with Copics to give the flamingos a more pop of pink. And I also colored the leaves in a couple shades of green. And I just love how that ended up looking. It's so pretty. And then on this one, I put thanks for being flamazing. So this would be a great thank you card. And then I cut it out with that scalloped oval. And then I used the larger plain oval to frame it. And then I used, this is the um, tropical leaf stencil in the background. And I just kind of stenciled that halfway up. So that is a fun way to make a large thank you card. But I did want to show you that this will also fit on a regular A2 sized card. So that's what this is here. So it's kind of similar, same thing. I think I used a slightly different colored pink on this one, but otherwise it's, it's a similar layout. So these two are the same dies and they will fit on the smaller size card as well. So it just depends on if you want to make a big statement with a large five by seven card or if you prefer the smaller size. And this one I use, so glad you're part of my flock. And then in this one, instead of using the stencil in the background, I used a print from the summertime paper pad that has a similar uh, tropical leaf pattern on it. So there's two ways you can use that. 
Um, next we have Newton's kite. And that one has Newton flying a cute little kite and then some fun sentiments. We've got soaring by with, and those are separate, so you can use them together or separate if you'd like. And then you can add, so soaring by with sky high thanks, soaring by with positive vibes, or soaring by with birthday wishes for Mew. So that really gives you some good options for making cards with this. And then of course a coordinating die is available for that. And what I created with that was this simple card here. So I've got the kitty with the kite and I colored him with watercolors and I gave him cute little pink cheeks. It's always fun. And cut it out with the coordinating die. And then for the background, I used a few of our edge border stencils. So this is our cloud stencil, which you can just do layers of clouds with that. And then again, I used our hills and grass to make a hill, and this time I made it green. And then I used grass along the bottom for another layer. So really just a simple stenciled background using some seam building stencils. And we have a whole line of scene building products um, if you like making scenes. So just go to our website and check out scene building category and you'll find all those in there. Um, and then for the border, I used our frames and flags die set, which has a scalloped edge border that perfectly fits this size card. And I made mine soaring by with positive vibes. So this would be a great card to cheer someone up, um, to tell them you're excited about what's going on. You know, it could be used for so many occasions. I really like how um, versatile that sentiment is. Just sending someone some good thoughts. And then the last set I have to show today is called Dog Park. So this is Dog Park. And this one features a dog who's got some fun accessories. So he's jumping into another year um, you could add it's your birthday if you want to make it a birthday card and that kind of goes with jump into another year and then there's different things you can have him jumping for so there's a frisbee there's a ball and a bone so any of those could be thrown up for the dog to catch and then we also have aim high so again you could use this for multiple occasions and it comes with a or it has a coordinating die available as well. And I created a birthday card. So mine says jump into another year. And we've got the dog going after a frisbee on the beach. So that turned out really cute. And to make this beach scene, I used um, again the hills and grass stencil and the um, palm tree line stencil. And in this case, I used the detail off the trunks in the solid leaves and then the little accents that go in the leaf centers. So that's another way you can use that stencil. And this paper in the background is from the new summertime paper pad. So again, there's all the fun things you can create. I'll show you those cards again quick. So many fun summer cards you can make. Lots of fun options with this. I hope you enjoyed seeing all these products today. Um, and make sure to head over to our shop and everything is up for sale there now. So you can find all these products and take them home and see what you can create. We'd love to see what you can create. So make sure um, to share with us and follow us on Pinterest and Instagram. And like our video and subscribe. So thank you for watching and have a great weekend.